Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Radars are one of the most important component of a modern fighter jet which has evolved with time from PSA to Gallium Arsenide based AESA to Gallium Nitride based AESA. India's premier research institute DRDU is working on developing various types of Uttam AAC radar, which will power the future fighter jets of India, such as LCTS Mark 1A, LC Mark 2, AMCA, and TBF. The Uttam AAC fire control radar being developed for Indian Air Force is going to have many variants. The first version is going to be Gallium Arsenide based AAC radar developed for LCTS Mark 1A. The Uttam radar to be integrated with LCA Mark 1A will have nearly 912 TRM modules. TRM are transceiver and receiver modules. It is going to be a full solid state gallium arsenide based active electronically scanned array radar. LRD has showcased the Uttam AC radar with 912 TRM modules during the Defense Expo 2022. Uttam AC radar will have 18 modes in air-to-air, air-to-ground, and air-to-sea roles. The radar has been able to track LCA fighter jet from a range of 140 km, which itself is quite significant because LCA is smallest fighter jet in its category and has good stealth characteristic due to the use of composite. The Uttam AC radar has 95% indigenous component with only one imported subsystem. It has capacity to track 50 targets in the sky in the range of excess of 100 km and engage four of them simultaneously. On 7th July 2023, at LRD Bengaluru, a tri party memorandum of understanding was signed for production of Uttam AS radar for LCA Tejas Mark 1A between LRD, HAL, and industry partners. One of the leading industry partners is Astra Microwave. Astra Microwave has also confirmed in its financial report for financial year 2022-23 that the firm has developed and delivered the active antenna unit for Uttam AC radar for LCA Mark 1A fighter aircraft. HL has also signed contract with Azali firm Elta LM2052 for AAC radar to be integrated with LCA Mark 1A. Elta will be supplying 24 LM2052 FCR in fully assembled configuration and 8 additional will come in kit form which will locally assembled by HL technicians under supervision of Elta in Bengaluru. What we have learned based on our discussion during Aero India 2023 that HL will commence the integration of Uttam AS radar in LCA Mark 1A once it has completed the integration of ELM2052 which has been contracted with Israeli firm. As per February 2023 report from the new Indian Express, DRDU has planned to configure all fighter aircraft of Indian Air Force and Indian Navy with indigenously designed and developed Uttam AC radar in next two years. The LCA Mark 1A will be the first set of fighter jets to be fitted with Uttam AC radar. The next version is a scaled up version of Uttam AC radar with more densely packed TR modules being developed for Su-30 MKI. The next set of fighter jets which will be integrated with Uttam AC radar is going to be Su-30 MKI and MiG-29. The process of integration of Uttam AC radar on these platforms will commence from 2025 onwards. As per our discussion with DRD officials from Aero India 2023, Su-30 MKI will be integrated with Gallium Arsenide based Uttam AC radar featuring approximately 1600 TR modules. A variant of Gallium Nitride based Uttam AC radar has also been proposed for integration with Su-30 MKI. The private firm Astra Microwave have also geared up to participate in future airborne radar requirements from DIDO with Gallium Nitride based technology for different airborne platforms. The Gallium Nitride based AS radar will be integrated with upcoming fighter jets of Indian Air Force which are LCM Mark II, AMCA and TEDBF. The Uttam AS radar which is going to be integrated in LCM Mark II is going to have 912 TR modules but will be based on Gallium Nitride.
This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.